but we're at 100. So that is the proper shutter speed. We have the ISO at 100. Now aperture. the aperture to four. Let's see what she looks like at four. So she's filming at uh, 5.1K, 50 frames per second. Shutter speed is 1 100, which should be twice your frame rate. Change the aperture to four. It does look a little bit dark on my screen, but you know it's kind of a cloudy day, so maximum flight altitude reached. On a cloudy day, you don't really need to change the aperture too much. As you uh, go up with the aperture, there the the lens uh, gets narrow. And that's to kind of block out the sun. Uh, we have no sun today, so. But anyways, we're gonna experiment with this. We're gonna we're gonna leave the aperture at four and see what that footage looks like. We're just gonna pan around and take a look. I don't know on my uh, on my phone it seems kind of dark, but who knows? It might look good. On real sunny days, I've had aperture at usually like 5, 5.6. Everything looks great. But today's one of those days where you could have the uh, lens wide open at 2.8. But since I've had the Mavic 3, I haven't really played with the aperture. So let's see what we get here. Our battery is at 42 percent. All that smoke and everything looks kind of cool. We're at the maximum height. I think we'll bring her down. Yeah, I think we'll come down a bit. Okay, I think we're gonna try a return to home. Go home. Let's see how accurate she is at uh, at coming home. She's heading back pretty quick. She's heading back pretty quick. Let's see how accurate she is at landing. Oh, look at that plane. Oh, geez. That plane looks very low. Holy Jesus. I have my action too on my head. I hope I'm getting that plane. Wow. Okay, we're gonna cancel. Wow. 
Wow. Guys, I don't know if you can see that plane. Oh, geez, was he ever low? <laughs> 